this is hawk tv this is breaking news hello i am kweku anan with a breaking news story on the classified segment and of course we begin by uh the breaking news story of course making the headlines now alan kojuchamantin formally say goodbye to the new patriotic party this decision of course comes off following 2008 if if listeners recall when alan kojo chamantin took some steps on the back of series of allegations against the npp but was later prevailed upon to rescind his decision till he took the appointment to become the trade minister if listeners recall of course today 26th of september uh alan kojo chamantin of course has taken the bold step by walking down the aisle asking followers of the of the alan's movement in, in the party and outside the party to consider uh the need to go into independent his resignation today touted a policy dubbed gtp gtp great transformation plan and of course uh, he also mentioned his leadership will will base on the following one change the political status by breaking the npp and the ndc and of course two promotes the establishment of national unity three build consensual national development agenda four inspire behavioral and attitudinal change of the people of ghana it was for asamai very critical city in ayatino intelligence now yeah picking nano as far as alan uh i say goodbye to the npp you know actually alan came on the back of a movement for change and not in the name of a political party now our intelligence gathering close up say of course said they're not a year in epb earlier say alan better party or better party you know uh, the intel any baby agency ca counting how many days weeks months to go to the polls alan ain't to me in tea party and can do wonders again alan will not also want to come on the back of a party then it will tend to be an offshoot of the new patriotic party ain't to me so m musa the atosun and the atosun means that intel and so yeah pick it on the ground and so a bet i say every way will share contest noir at dawa which is the fourth november noir it would be a straight contest between Alan, a uh, straight contest between uh, uh, Kennedy Kwame Akumprekwe Japan and the vice president. Now, this is where is there, there is going to be a bit of fierce contest, given the circumstances that now Alan has resigned officially from the party. Yeka says, still, Alan war some faithfuls be a war, sa super delegate Imu, and I say, sir congress now ebebas on the fourth now. now our intel reveal clear that the alan supporters would uh what alan supporters now call it an anti-establishment kind of and see what we are going to see now ebsm those supporters are going to be divided and then may i say it's about 50 percent of those supporters may want to go along with the kennedy movement as to what that impact it will make on the kennedys contesting the 4th november is also a push it's going to be a, a push if you like a heavy task for kennedy even though that would also switch that contest into a fierce one between ono and a vice president alahaj muhammad baumia that is also very fact but then it begs the question that all that push could still make kennedy go for glory that is a huge mountain for kennedy to you know climb up the hills that i can say for sure is a, a very very a herculean task for kennedy japan to cross that these are some of the issues we are picking as far as uh alan kojo chamantin uh issues we are very concerned uh, barely few hours alan kojo chamantin suwe nekasa nanasa in a statement and i'm saying the uh, uh justin kodia oh yeah uh, General Secretary Emma, the new patriotic party on his way issue a statement, press release, the above one thing, 
indicates in Senyanko Poyad Mochnam around the same time 2 p.m. One more so, and uh, one more the statement Baba Bontain. I don't know, however, that would be of uh, as asking or going direct form of an attack in Alan Kwadio or that would tend to be a different issue. We do not know how that is going to be, but of course, this is a developing story as we gauge the uh, uh, space tomorrow wait on the npp and the omade beba folks mobile kaya i on the on the 5th of september any the classified breaking news story they buy on alan pulling out and all of that follow up on other developing angles via the beba and i think that we made an analysis over whether or not alan beko independence or the journey kennedy japan or otherwise but above the three things i think alan has fallen on their acts so we shame no wash him clear alan a free party no no you have no cray a back in casa alan would obviously pull a significant number b off the shoulders of the npp and that is that is going to be a tall order for the npp to whether or not can maintain those alan supporters within the party well we are even learning that in the western region some alan supporters already have thrown in the support to 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 baumia but like i said 50 percent will be splitted one more split a bibe kwa ha a bibe kwa and then a be massa fourth november contest no more bedding but you baby say a bay as the new patriotic party ever be catch the island what 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 the what what the party want to say to alan would be a direct response of where alan also said that in his delivery or he stating his way out alan leveled a lot of allegations against the party and as against the government and simply be your kind of a year a to trust someone across so well over time i don't know if you need to go with the hopes and a party no one address it yeah she was when you had that and and now we in kwana alan and can cast on semi waki can be a kakaka now the who cry with my alan at the source of my partner hey the level of corruption in the government a who power now no no you be say could alan have gone further to us to expand to open up perhaps they need pandora box of what kind of corruption alan is talking about again there is also danger that may go like sir alan eh bemusia naturally say um on the shoulders of mpp any ndc you know possibility say those within ndc are warmer crest falling okay uh may want to perhaps go along to test Alan's possibility of becoming a president and how would that look like? How would that play on our faces? And no, no, so I support no bit me in your NDC more and a beam, you bet me so about MPP more because in MPP, Alan won a supporter CB Womu out and also a significant number. Some number, no, you imagine it's almost free MPP more quietly. No, my quack or talk, or my body, I'm Alan. In all of the 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 situation two situations in a playing up and what would that leave the ndc and the mpp then the third one will become floating voters if floating voters also becomes a bit of depend on how alan said that in the coming days weeks he's going to launch his full campaign official campaign touting his drive and some of his political economic policies that will be driving on the shoulders of his uh what you call his movement for chain and could resonate with not ordinary ghanaian it could also be that alan could sway much of the floating voters along his way now we do know in this country 30 years now Floating voters They are the decision makers. Floating voters are the decision makers for either NDC or NPP. So if the floating voters and also in the coming days could resonate with Alan's movement for change what would then tend to make election 2024 for npp and ndc respectively who would go for glory in the last portion or in the last uh, minutes of the dire cast
these are pretty much disturbing situations on the block now if you we can also see power intelligence alan is going to member on the back of a political party reason is also because every year can say alan ain't offices all over ghana across all constituencies and that's a pretty order for alan to get this done so the best way and the ideal situation for alan would be to consider going independent but you did real crown the last drop of intel equity as which i said within certain you know star wars of the mpp you know what most you say as i said mpp as a governing party as a sort of co-position and what alan is doing is one best way to push the entire organization to a full flight opposition so the party can reconsider itself rebranding again question is a 1979 history repeating itself here if if listeners recall in 1979 prior to the elections you know and uh, pfp led by victor Wusu are uh, not one more mpp for us or they had the cost to their breakaway because they didn't like him on the on the ticket of the pfp and they come out powerly and then the cousin of foriata and so so ever sorry yeah you better for me unc on 9 in 1979 the breakaway was on political lines this time around in 2023 they call it a seemingly breakaway it's on the basis of somebody a star wars of the party going independent how would all this play up in the shortest possible time marking 2024 general elections as the heartbeat of the nation you know beats gradually towards the very d-day folks details more coming on the shoulders of the classified as the breaking news story continues i am quick one and i'll be back shortly Jane, Kwe kwe, utu tutu, awaa!